rice fields and the Lao People's Democratic Republic, source of food and livelihood for millions of people. Many activities of the people in rural areas centered around the rice crop. But the intricate network of fields, ponds and waterways that make up the rice-based ecosystem also host a rich variety of aquatic organisms – fish, frogs, crabs, snails and insects – have adapted to a life in this environment that has replaced the natural wetlands in large parts of the country. Along with the rice, these organisms form the basis of the food supply in rice growing areas of the Lao PDR. In 2002, a study sponsored by the FAO Netherlands Partnership Program and conducted by the Living Aquatic Resources Research Institute revealed that Lao farmers are utilizing an astonishing number of 92 animal and plant species they collected from their rice fields. Catches are typical small, sufficient just for the day. As such, there are too small to be captured in any official statistic on fishery. But because many people are involved and catches happened almost every day, the resulting amount of food that is extracted is impressive. A recent study has shown that two-thirds of all the aquatic organisms consumed by people in rice growing areas come from the rice fields. And wild fish form the most important group, frogs come in second. About one-third of all aquatic animals consumed are frogs providing high-quality protein, vitamins and minerals to the diets that might otherwise be marginal in their nutrient content. Once a year around harvest time, when the water drains from the fields, farmers use all kinds of devices to collect the organisms that leave the fields together with the receding waters. At this time, often during a few days only, farmers catch much larger amounts of fish than usual. This bounty cannot be consumed right away. Instead, it is preserved to supply the people with fish during the dry season when fish is scarce. In this way, fish is dried, smoked, or turned into a badek. The fermented fish paste that is part of everyday traditional Lao meal. The larger fish caught are often sold to the markets. While they are not as large as they used to be in the past, they still provide additional income to many farmer households.
Many of the aquatic organisms sold in the markets can trace their origin to the rice fields of the country. In this way, rice-based ecosystems also contribute to the nutrition of the urban population of the Lao PDR. Without the contributions of the rice-based ecosystems, Lao people would be deprived of a large part of their diet, fish, frogs, snails and shrimps, but also many wild vegetables are collected in and around rice fields. These foods represent the major sources of protein and micronutrients, but this invaluable source of food is under threat. There is not only a decline of fish and other aquatic organisms in rivers and natural wetlands, also catches from rice-based ecosystems are getting less. Reasons for the decline are changes in the way the land is used as well as overfishing due to a growing population and a shift from subsistence towards a market-oriented approach of resource use. There were more fish in the past, and people could just catch the fish to eat and share them with others in the village. But now, even the smallest fish we have to buy. In the past, we used to catch fish at night time with a torch and spear. We were catching a lot of fish in this way, but now, even with a torch at night, we can get only very few fish. Nowadays, there are more people than before, and fishing is no longer done just for food. Fishing is done for sale on the markets. Before, there were not so many people. There was more place to live. There were more aquatic animals. You could be sure to catch a bowl full even before you went. When I was young, there were only 10 families in this village, and now there are almost 40, and we are more than 300 people. Fish are getting less and less. Too many people are fishing, and the fish are even having diseases. Today, rice fields have become the most important remaining source of aquatic animals for food and nutrition. All measures have to be taken that this refuge is not lost and it needs to be urgently addressed how this wealth will not only be maintained but enhanced in the future. This requires that all changes in land use as well as in the management of rice crops will be assessed carefully regarding their effect on the aquatic life that coexist with the rice. Also, rivers, streams and other natural wetlands increasingly will have to be better managed so that they can provide again for a more plentiful and diverse crop of fish and other aquatic animals. Maintaining the connectivity of these natural ecosystems with the rice fields will be essential to ensure a continued food supply and a balanced diet for the Lao people.